Welcome back to Christ Mining and today we are taking a look at the Gecko Science new pack. Last week was GPU mining under RIG rebuild. This week we are taking a look at ASICs and USB mining again. We already had a video on the last generation of Gecko Science machines, the two packs. These were built with Antminer S5 chips and could be tweaked up to 33 gigahash per second. Now the new pack comes in with two Antminer S9 chips, said to be pushable up to 100 gigahash per second on SHA-256. That's Bitcoin's mining algorithm. So today we'll take a look at the little thing and see what we need to run it and how to set it up. Lastly, we'll talk about the big evil word everyone always wants to know about, profitability. So let's go. From the outside, it does not differ much from the older brother. We have a small PCB and no active cooling, just a heatsink. So as most USB miners, they are no standalone unit. This means you need some sort of controller attached to it. I myself use one of my PCs, which is running 24 seven anyway, but many people have asked if this is possible with Raspberry Pis 2. And yes, it is. Without a separate cooling solution, Gecko Science recommends not to go beyond 100, 125 megahertz with 100 being the standard setting. If you want to overclock these, you'll need to cool it. And for this, I love the arctic usb fans no matter if it's the stick-in version or the ones with the stand included next you need a powerful usb hub this means it needs an additional power source and you should check that it's rated for multiple ampere draw and power it accordingly so i would not recommend to just plug it directly into your pcs or pi's usb slot not to damage it or burn them out not to shill gecko signs too much but they did come out with their own hub since i last did the two-pack video they have put some some thought into it since you get an additional fan slot on the hub or can power it either with 6 pin or DC. I myself did not get my hands on one. I use a more old school solution, a C polar hub, which you can find on eBay. Important here is that you power it with at least 12 volts and then multiple amps depending on how many sticks you want to run. I'll also link the Bitcoin Talk inofficial hub discussion thread where people post their different solutions. This can help to find out easier which hubs works for you and if it's available in your area. Besides that, be sure that the USB cable is of good quality and not too long because you can also lose amps here. That is all the hardware we need. So let's talk about software since this will be very similar on every operating system. There is a custom CG miner release especially for the Gecko Science machines and you can get it for Windows as well as compile it for your Linux distro. I'll link the Bitcoin talk thread in the description where you can find the releases depending on what you need. On Windows you might need the good old USB SADIC drivers, which I'll also link down below. Here list all devices and install the WinUSB drivers for your machines. The CG miner release comes with test mining bat files. With classical mining, a bat file is the one which starts your mining software and also includes your settings. You can follow on screen, but I will also provide one in the description below for copy and paste. Please mind to put in your own info. This is how you will start mining. Mind that it has to stay in the folder of the rest of the mining software. I use shortcuts to access these. On the stick, you will see a green light when it's connected to power and the blue light will start blinking as soon as it's hashing. I have to say that the older two packs look crazier and more like party mode when they were mining, but hey, I'm, I'm not complaining. For overclocking, this means tweaking the frequency, there is a command in CG Miner. 100 is standard, as I said, and I quickly tried 200 for the video, giving me around 40 GHz per second. To really find my sweet spot, I'll have to take more time, but some crazy folks on the Bitcoin Talk forum managed even 600 MHz, which achieves more than the advertised 100 GHz per second. But as I said, you need a good power solution for that, and active cooling. So lastly, let's talk about profitability. With these miners, it's pretty difficult to even reach a payout on most Bitcoin pools. That is something you have to be aware of. Even though I dislike calculators, I'll put some numbers on the screen in BTC earnings for daily, weekly and monthly Bitcoin revenues. In dollar numbers, we are talking about 2 cents per day. These are bleak numbers, but please mind that the BTC price is always changing. So will your numbers. One also has to keep in mind that we are talking about two S9 chips. While we already had S11 and S15 Bitcoin miners with a S17, so a 7 nanometer end miner being announced. So again, we are actually talking about all the chips. 
Why then even discuss a machine like this? In my opinion, they still have their place. Some people call them lottery miners. Or you can learn mining with those machines as I did back in 2013 with small Bitcoin block eruptor miners. Back then what they earned also only was dust. But what I hodled of that time has financed a lot of my mining operation nowadays. So mining in my book is always a long term game. The numbers on screen right now are different configurations and efficiencies. So you can see that the power cost of these machines is next to nothing. You can set them up and forget about them. And that is what I like. Other than that, people who are much more creative than me have built crazy solutions for them. One guy in our discord for example wanted to power new packs through a water wheel which is just genius in my opinion. I'll follow up on it and check if he ever did the project. So that's already it. Another small device for the creative do-it-yourself nerds who want to build custom solutions. Maybe mining beginners or folks who want to set up a device, forget about it and not really suffer big hardware or power costs. Don't forget that with this you can still support the big beautiful Bitcoin network. Next week we return to GPUs again. I'm still only at one video per week but sometimes I manage to get out more. Thanks to all the regular watchers and also new people joining. All the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye. I link the Bitcoin talk support thread in the description. <laughs>